Good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. You will see the markets are retreating slightly today as uh, China GDP slightly beat es uh, estimates, but not by as much as what some uh, commentators had hoped. And it's one of the slowest uh, rates of, uh, of increase that we've seen in China since uh, the 2008 financial crisis. So now people are obviously looking at that saying, well, you know, the Chinese slowdown could be a drag in the global economy. And uh, the US there now has failed to, uh, to stay above potential resistance at 16,401, with the next potential support being 16,178. Most um, global stock markets are down in sympathy. Uh, Germany 30 is already down about 1% already this morning. Uh, UK 100 similar picture. Uh, we had top heavy uh, result yesterday, obviously off, off the session lows. We're back down to that same, uh, to the low of yesterday today right now, with the next potential support at 62.16 and the technicals um, are still slightly oversold, but there could be a little bit extra room for manoeuvre. So moving on to Japan 225, it came off a, a fair amount after rallying um, quite a lot yesterday. Uh, we've, we smashed back through potential support at 14.977. The next potential support is quite a good bit away. We're in about 14.219. Uh, and that is uh, on the back of that uh, kind of turnaround on Japanese yen, uh, which we've seen. So the dollar kind of ran out of steam a little bit, and uh, the yen has wrestled control. So we have seen uh, gold shoot up to 12.50, uh, a lot more yen buying. So some people say it could be uh, short covering from people who are already long dollar yen, reversing out their positions. Uh, but there's a little bit of fear back in the market there just now, uh, with equities uh, certainly coming off a little bit. So we're coming quite close to the 55 period SMA. Um, the longer term potential support is at 104 spot 75. Technical still show room for further uh, downside action. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, um, it's not really doing too much. It's slowly drifting down. $84 is still the potential resistance. There's not much else to say about crude oil at this stage. So moving on to gold, that weakness in the US dollar and US interest rates looking like a distant memory, a rate increase in the US. Um, we are now looking to rechallenge at 55 period SMA and now it's looking at 12.67 uh, as the next potential resistance level. And uh, this was the level at 1240 that we've talked about. We had a, a proper technical breakout yesterday. We're moving higher again today, and with more uncertainty in the markets, gold looks well positioned, but it's got to get above that 55 period SMA. Moving on to euro dollar, um, obviously, in the back of the US dollar. Uh, depreciating the euros had a little bit of extra love this morning. Uh, it's slowly grinding higher. Uh, if I actually just draw one more level on here, uh, arguably you could look at this point right here. At one spot 2861 could be the, the next potential short term resistance. So moving on to GB, GBP USD, sterling's increased slightly. Obviously, we had some, uh, we've actually got some uh, US data, UK data due out later on today. Public spending, I believe, right about 9 30 UK time. Uh, we're just bouncing around at 21 period SMA, looking at one spot at 62, 65. It's the next potential resistance level on there. Uh, data wise, uh, I might let me go on to the correct day. Uh, there we go. So on Tuesday, we've got public finances, public sector debt at 9 30. Uh, I'll go ahead and set one of my alert alarms on there, reoccurring alert. And then we've got um, existing home sales uh, later on, but it's Wednesday when we've actually got CPI in the US, which uh, should be more keenly watched. So to make sure I've got my reoccurring alert set on that as well. Um, make sure you've got your um, your chart forum ready there for some technical trade setups from our global analyst team. Make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.